How to set up analysis workflows in Blast2Go. Blast2Go provides an interface to create, edit, and run workflows based on the common workflow language specifications. This interface allows one to describe all analysis steps and to connect them to perform a whole analysis in a single run. Users can define input data, configure each analysis step, save and export results, and generate reports and charts in a simple way. This video shows how to create, to configure, and to run a simple analysis workflow. The Blastigo Workflow Composer can be opened using the Workflows toolbar in the Create Workflow menu option. Choose between Create a new workflow or load one of the example workflows. In this video tutorial, it will show one how to create a workflow from scratch. Set the new workflow name and click on the Run button to open the Workflow Composer. To create a workflow, start adding some steps. The side panel on the left contains a list of actions that can be used as workflow steps. To add an action to the workflow, click on the corresponding plus symbol next to the action's name. You can also drag and drop. In this case, three analysis steps are included, blast, mapping, and annotation, to build a simple gene ontology analysis workflow. Each action is represented by an icon. On the left side of the icon, the connections for every input of the action are found. And on the right side, the connections for every output it produces are found. To connect two steps of the workflow, click on the small circle representing the output connection of the first action, and drag it to the small circle representing the input connection of the second action. To define the workflow input, click on the input connection on the left side of the icon and drag it out. Alternatively, inputs can be defined by including a load action as first step, such as the load FASTA file action. In a similar way, to define the output, click on the output connection on the right side of the icon and drag it out. The input file can be selected by right-clicking on the input icon and selecting the Select Input File option. The output name can be established by right-clicking on the corresponding icon and selecting the Change Output Name option. Most workflow steps can be configured. If a step needs to be configured, it will be highlighted in a red color and it will not be possible to run the workflow. To configure this step, right-click on the action icon and select the Edit Parameters option or double-click on it. The parameters of each step can be consulted in the bottom region of the side panel. In addition, graphs and charts can be incorporated into the workflows. For example, the project statistics charts. Include the chart action icon in the panel. Connect it with the output of another step. And select any of the available charts. The output chart can be exported as a regular file instead of a Blast2Go file using an export action. These actions can be incorporated as the last step in a workflow. And the destination folder should be established. Icons can be organized by clicking on the Arrange button.
Use the Properties button in the side panel to edit the documentation of the workflow, for example, author name, email, and description. Once the workflow is ready, click on the green Run button on the side panel to open the Run Workflow wizard. Select the input files if they have not been established before, as well as the output folders to save the results or use a common folder for all. Click Run to execute the workflow. In the Progress tab, there is a progress bar for the workflow execution and an additional progress bar for each step. Once the workflow is finished, the obtained results can be explored in the selected output folder. This video has showed the Blastigo Workflow Composer interface to create and edit analysis workflows, how to add, configure, and connect the different analysis steps, and how to define input data, save and export results, and generate charts and statistics.